Wooding, Greg, hey. Menace, Seabass, there's Sammy. Hello. Phones are open. Always ways for you to be part of the Woody Show. You can uh, give us a call. 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. Or you can hit us up with a text over to 22987. Email works. Email at thewoodyshow.com. And you've also got the social media. I, I already mentioned that. right? No, no, no. After Hours voicemail. That's where I was going because I do have some of the After Hours voicemails that I want to play for you. Anytime after 10 a.m., you can leave us a message at 877-44-WOODY. So let's just say you're listening to the podcast or you got a thought about something. Yeah. After the show, we're not here anymore, but you'd still leave us that message. Uh, some follow-ups. Uh, we were talking about uh, different things like, um, uh, for example, what's the worst job you ever had? All right, so this person, this uh, this woman, she's talking about the best or the worst job that she's ever had. Hello, my name is Nikki. I wanted to share the worst job I've ever had, pathology assistant. I used to stand next to innocent bystanders on the elevators while I carried limbs, placentas, and various oh. body parts oh. to the morgue to be destroyed. Oh. Pretty gross. Hi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yuck. Uh-huh. I mean, uh, what a weird she ever job. Picked up a arm and said, high five. I know. To yeah. her <laughs> what do you got there? Oh, yeah. just a, a spleen? Uh, yeah. After hours voicemail, we were talking about... Uh, weird people, like hobbies that uh, weird people have. Hey, Woody Show. I was just listening to today's podcast about types of weird people, and Woody mentioned ferret people. And I will say, when I was growing up, I went to a before-school program that was run by a ferret lady. She had ferrets, and she told us how one winter her ferret died, and she wanted to bury it, but the ground was too hard, so she kept it in her freezer until the spring. So that pretty much traumatized me as a 10-year-old. <laughs> Thanks, buddy show. Talk to you later. All right, bye. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ferris are so oily Oof. and gross. Yeah, they, they smell so bad. Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I told you I had that buddy who, you know, he got a new house. He had a hot girlfriend, nice, beautiful saltwater fish tank. Mm -hmm. And then he got into World of Warcraft and he got a ferret in his Girlfriend left. The fish tank was gross. Oh, yeah, that's the right. The house was gross because the ferret just ran through the house, tore up everything, crapped everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there a connection between World of Warcraft and ferrets or just that's what I just No, he just got so into it. He just let the ferret just, like take over the house. Oh, and there's okay. like, let connection, house. Yeah. connection mm. between a loser shut in and ferrets. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after hours voicemail, this person had an encounter with a uh, older meth head hooker. Ooh. All right. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Woody. I just graduated high school, and uh, my parents gave me a car, and I had to go fill up gas. And um, this strange woman came up to me, and I couldn't really make out what it quite was through the silhouette, but I, I heard her voice, and I heard I heard a faint voice saying, Hey, sexy. I said, what? Hey, sexy. My boys are looking around like, what the f*** is going on? She comes into the light. It's a, it's like a 65-year-old messed up hooker. And not only does she offer us all sexual pleasures, she then reaches into each and every one of our pockets and takes cash out of our wallet and scurries away. She scurried away. And I, I, I'm not so sure I'm ready to really go out into the real world if that's what the real world is like. So I, I could really use your advice. Is this just what every day of whole life is like? I, I'm, I'm confused. Thank you. No, it's not every day. No. Uh, although a friend of mine worked at a radio station in Alaska and his car broke down. So he's on the side of the highway in Alaska in the wintertime, snow is on the ground and all of a sudden gets a knock on the window and it was a hooker. Oh, that's right. Like door to door mm -hmm. hooker. It, right. Like, like in the middle. Selling like, her a, wares. Triple A, except it was a hooker, an Alaskan hooker. Yeah. Well, <sighs> like writes her. Writes her <laughs> like he was wondering, yeah. Like, yeah, how did she get here? Yeah. Didn't see a car, didn't see anything. Yeah. She just was like, <laughs> well, hanging around. My first word of advice, and I think Seabass would agree with me, you wouldn't have somebody get even that close to you that they can reach into oh. your pocket. Right. Yeah. That's a that's a move. And it doesn't matter if yeah. it's an old lady, if it's a kid, whoever. No. That's yeah, yeah. You, you know, you set that boundary mm. in, yeah. instantly because that's how pickpockets work. It's yeah. do we have a topic about meth hookers or uh <laughs> no. open phones or your meth hookers? No, story. I mean it's not it's all just, follow up. Just Sometimes random. you just say some random story. Yeah. Hey, is there anything you want to tell us? Let us know after hours voicemail. Mm -hmm. Uh this was a follow up because we had that uh that guy, the initial email that the guy had sent us and he called Sammy a cougar. Yes. yes. Oh yeah, yeah. He said he's in the cougar. Right. He was taking right. a shot with Sammy like, "Hey, what do you she think? Rate me on a scale that. of uh, 1 to 10." She loved that. Uh anyway, so 
he heard us discussing his email, and then he left us an after hours oh, voicemail yeah, yeah, a full follow up. Hey, Woody Show, much love. Uh, about that guy who sent that epic fail email to Sammy, that was me. It was really interesting to hear you guys read it out on air. Uh, I'm going to go straight to the big one, the whole cougar thing. <laughs> this is where I really screwed the pooch on that one, didn't I? But uh, when I heard Greg and Sammy's reaction, that's when I realized I effed up. But as C Best mentions, a little bit of harmless nagging. Though it is hard to convey emotion and inflection through text, I wasn't expecting such a visceral reaction, though. Uh, just know it wasn't my intention to offend anybody, so my apologies to Sammy. Uh, that whole dog thing, I mean, C-Bass mentioned how the, having that dog is gay, but uh, <laughs> that was one of two dogs I adopted from my sister. That whole scenario where she realized having a dog is a lot of responsibility, so instead of sending him back to the pound, we adopted him. Um, about the way I look, I know I suffer from RBF, severe RBF, I didn't realize I give big F boy energy until Menace mentioned it. It's definitely an eye opener. I promise that's not my actual energy. Sammy said I look like I take myself too seriously, but it's far from that. When I get comfortable, I'm quite the goofball. I love making people laugh, oh, even if it's at my expense. Much like Woody, I love to be there for those I care about the most. And I put my cart back. So big RBF energy. I have a big heart. So, yeah. Again, all yeah. in good fun. Cool mm -hmm. to interact with you guys, even though you roasted me on live radio and called me gay. <laughs> anyway, you guys get ruled. Have a great day. All right, buddy. Oh, right. oh, Sammy, give him so, another chance. Yeah. Yeah. Does well, that clear things up? I will up? say the voice yeah. is better than I would have guessed. From yeah, the yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, there's more good, down here. And yeah, yeah. A good yeah style. that's surprising. Yeah, does the voice help at all? No. Oh, oh wow. Sammy. No, it swing is another swing in the mess. And if you, yeah. Yeah. by the way, if he was six foot two and hot, yeah, by sure. the way, you can call, you can call her. No cougar, matter what you. women say, they're all superficial. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if he had a face that looked more like a ferret, true. Yep. Then maybe. Right. Yeah, a little maybe. bit yeah. more rodent-like. Well, <laughs> yeah. Preferred. <laughs> Anytime after ten a.m., you can leave us a message on the after hours voicemail eight seven seven forty four Woody. Otherwise, that's just what you call in to be a part of the show while the show happens. 